We started looking at seed cleaning machines like this one to buy. Um, this is a drop down model that separates your seed into three fractions. Um, there's another design which is called a zigzag machine for obvious reasons and this also has a very good reputation. Both of them sound great. They have phenomenally high price tags and we simply couldn't afford to buy one. So it was too expensive to buy a seed cleaning machine and that really only left the option of making one ourselves. And we got together some scrap wood, um, it was a couple of old bedsteads, a wardrobe and a set of shelves plus some Perspex clear plastic that the local supermarket threw and I think it was originally a chewing gum, chewing gum dispenser. And after a couple of hours in the workshop, this is the result. Um, this is the first version of the machine and here we are testing it for the first time on some pepper seed. So here we have some hot pepper seed that we're going to try this out on. Um, the seed's pretty good actually, but there are a few thin ones in there that it would be nice to get out. We can turn on the suction source, which is just a shop vacuum. It's a 2 kilowatt unit, so quite a powerful vacuum. And then we're going to pour the seeds in the funnel at the top. Um, and as they go down, a small number of the lighter ones are sucked off sideways and up to the right through this narrow gap here. That's an area of high suction because it's narrower. As the seeds fall down they hit these little triangles and they tumble through the zigzags and that makes sure that they catch the airflow. The air is flowing upwards, it's being sucked. Um, it comes in the bottom and the airflow is flowing upwards against the seeds as they fall down and you can see them bouncing and tumbling round and round and the lighter ones actually you can occasionally see them getting sucked up into that accelerating stream of air and they then fall out down into here which is the reject seed compartment. Now here I'm just changing the suction simply by covering up a hole and you can see with less suction now I'm putting the suction back up and now you can see with more suction more seeds are getting whipped out so by controlling the suction simply by bleeding more or less air into the thing you can actually control whether light or heavy seeds are pulled across into the reject channel. And there's the result. Reject. Okay, so this is how it actually works, the first version of this. The seeds drop down here and bounce through this zigzag and fall out the bottom. Now what's happening with airflow is there's this the suction hose is in at the top okay, and that's actually sucking up so the air enters the machine at the bottom it goes through these zigzags and then accelerates through this narrow gap when it reaches this wider area the seed falls out it's getting wider so the air pressure is less and the seed falls down the bottom to accumulate down there that's closed off so that no air can enter there the distance across there is the same as the distance across there so the seed falls out it doesn't go up the air goes up like this and out through the hose and there's a small bit of gauze mesh just to catch anything if you've got the suction too high these holes let in air from the outside and we can have them all open or we can close them gradually bleeding in less and less air so seven gives us lots of suction and as we go down five four three three and a half that gives us less suction and you obviously start on the lowest suction possible and work your way up. You can make the holes bigger or smaller um, depending on how powerful your vacuum is. What you're looking at now is the final design of the machine um, after we've made a few small changes. Um, basically the seed was really only being separated as it went past the chute at the top and it wasn't getting dragged back up enough as it tumbled through the zigzags. So what we did was took it apart and put in more little triangles to make that um, tumbling pathway much more consistent in size. So just to recap, the air flows up through here, through these zigzags, 
this extra little triangle here, just before the seed gets sucked off sideways, um, it has quite an effect. We get quite a swirling of seeds bouncing round and round and round. The heavy ones do slowly work their way down and fall out. Um, and as it swirls around and around and around, they get many chances to be sucked off sideways. When they get to this wider area, again, it's lower pressure, so they just drop out um, and collect in that bit there. And the airflow, of course, is round up here and out the top to the um, shop vacuum unit. And that's it.